G'day, John Willis here, the bear, and I'm in beautiful Dargo. We've got a few storms starting to roll in over here, but that doesn't worry me at all because look at the accommodation I've got here. This is the JB Scorpion Sting, and it's a beauty. This is the 20 foot six model. They make them up to about 23 foot, but you know what? This one is just right for me. When you want to get down to that perfect campsite at the end of that rough road, this is the off-road warrior that's going to get you down there. And when you get there, you get a camping comfort. How about we go and have a look? You know what? This is my kind of caravan. You can go bigger if you want. That's enough for me to be towing down any rough road with your larger four-wheel drives. Um, I think it's a sensible size and it's an accommodating size. But what I really like about it is the construction and let's have a look through it. When you talk about strength, this has got the strength that I look for. It's a full six inch chassis with six inch drawbar out the front and a two inch riser. It makes the entry point quite high, but we've actually got this nifty set of electric steps. Makes it really easy to get in and out. JB manufactured this entire unit in Australia with as much Australian made components as they possibly can. And that allows them the flexibility to do some little extras and go that extra mile that'll keep you going further at the end of the day. And one of those extras that isn't obvious at the first sight is we have wrapped the coating all over that chassis and underneath. So you're gonna have great longevity from really tough coatings all the way through that chassis. Out in front, we've got the DO35 coupling. And who can ever criticise the vehicle components DO35 coupling? It's an absolute ripper for off-road use. We've got all the standard componentry on this one, including Elko ESC, and you can really feel that keeping you stable on the road, especially when you're on an undulating road at higher speeds. Just terrific stuff. A great little stone screen, We've got two gas bottles enclosed in the middle of this adventurer toolbox. And on each side of that toolbox, look at this. Generator slide, SP slide, whatever you want to use it for. There's two of them, one either side. This wonderful black checker plate is so tough and so durable. So when you're on those dirt tracks and those trees are jumping out to try and grab you, you're not going to have scratch marks or do any damage. It's just great. The upper surfaces, are uh, stucco aluminium and fully insulated as well. So temperature range is gonna be beautiful inside at all times. You've got the works here, look, a full wet tunnel boot. There's tons of storage all the way around this caravan, wherever you look. We've got double laminated Euro style windows and they're so convertible, gives you the option of open, close, in, out, blinds up, blinds down, you name it, it's all there. A fold out awning, plenty of external lighting, including the yellow lighting to keep the bugs down as well. A wonderful fusion sound system and it sounds just great. Check out these protection bars down the sides. This really is made for good off-roading. When you get to your destination and you still want to watch the footy, there's a full entertainment box here that you can plug the television straight into. And that's a 24 inch LCD television just sits straight on the mounts. You've got a fold down picnic table and they're really handy, no doubt about it. I love these decals. I think it just looks great. And I really like the yellow as well. Four-way lockable door, and that's a tough security door as well. You've really got the works. It's all here in one compact 20 foot six unit. I tell you what, you better get used to the sight of the back of this unit, because that's what you're going to see when you're on the road. This caravan's going to be out in front of the group the whole way. Look at it, it just looks great in that yellow, I reckon, and the decals do look good. We've got a few sheep in this paddock, and if you happen to stand in a little bit of dung, well, you're gonna need the external shower to give it a good wash off. You've got external lighting at the back, you've got reversing cameras, spare wheel, a good strong bumper bar, a wood carrier, jerry can holders, the whole lock stock and barrel in a really neat looking unit, good solid LED lights, Coming back just a little bit, on the uh, driver's side, we've obviously got the replaceable cartridge, more lighting, more windows, and more of everything you need in this Ripper Caravan. Coming back, you've got all your power outlets, power inlets, it's all here. 
good grab handles, the fold-out step that we looked at before. We've got 16-inch Mickey Thompson tyres on these beautiful-looking mag wheels, 12-inch brakes all the way through it, so you know you're going to stop on that steep hill. But most importantly, you know, it's a fair old tow up to Dargo and we've been through some rough roads and, and river crossings and all the rest of it. And with the Cruise Master ATX fully independent suspension with the coil springs on this one, it just rode beautifully. It didn't matter what the terrain we threw at it, it just sat there comfortably. This is quite a, a strong water crossing. It's uh, quite a tricky one as well. The river's running quite deep at the moment. We've had quite a lot of rain up in the, uh, in the higher ranges. So it, it's deeper than what we, uh, we thought it was going to be to start with. It's going to be quite a challenge, there's no doubt about that. But instead of going in boots and all and trying to tow the caravan straight across, we're actually going to disconnect one of the caravans and actually put a vehicle across first, just to make sure that we're right. You know, we want to get to that spot on the other side, there's no doubt about that. Um, we're going to do the test run with the car on its own just at the moment and see how we go. Bear's coming along for reassurance because I might need a hug at the other end. We're ready to go, Bear. Have you got it all? I've got everything, including my worry beads. You don't worry, <laughs> all right. Mate, that'll keep you safe for sure. Tell you what, it's going to be fun. Let's go swimming. That was a little bit more touch and go, mate. Look, it's a it's a deep crossing. It's deeper than what it was last time we were here. Look, what I'm really worried about is not so much the pull of coming across. It's actually the push of the stream on sideways on such a big surface area. Surface yeah. area there. Yeah. So, Macca. Yes, mate. Seriously, mm. you reach for your mum's Bible halfway through that, and it's wet. <laughs> I, did, I, I did, and I did, and and, and listen. In Psalm 67, verse 32, when in doubt, throttle it out. <laughs> Let's go. I'm just coming across this last time. We've changed our line, we've kept a little bit to the other side of the river, and then um, we've been called by the recovery boys on an obstacle that was there that we got hung up on before. And I'm feeling actually really confident that we could get across this Absolutely. Time. Absolutely, no doubt about that. We're, we're actually going to have the river helping us a little bit in this case as well. Yeah, that's so, true. So, um, yeah, look, absolutely. We're here to give it a go and see what it'll do. So why don't we do it? What do you reckon, Max? Well, you know what, guys? From where I was standing, the first crossing was pretty sketchy. Yep. It looked like you were really fighting the current. Coming back the other way, I think you'll be a bit more sure-footed. Yes. And, um, have three quarters of a chance of getting back to the other side. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Right. Are you happy to give it a crack? Well, we're here to give it a try, so let's do it. Did you speak to the recovery guys as well? What do they reckon? Oh, um, well, yes, we just spoke with the recovery guys. Hey, how are you going? Sam and yeah. Daniel. How are you? How are you, boys? Good. That was a bit of fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, good stuff. What do you hey. think, mate? 
Yeah, no, I think you'd be no worries through there. No worries. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's some boulders and there's some old footings down there as well, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, so. oh, well, when you're up a bit high, you can sort of see a bit more in there. So yeah, it's exactly, it's exactly. And, and the only thing that concerns me with that is getting the sweep as we come around with the fold in the caravan. So we're going to have to go fairly wide on that as well yep, to dodge yep, that. Yep, yep. But we've got a plan in place and uh, we know we know the old story about plans, don't we? They are always made to be changed. <laughs> Well, that's why you got this thing on this side. Absolutely, ready to go. we're right. right. Well, then we'll go and do our bit. Safe we'll go and houses. do that. Good, Good on luck. You. Good luck. <laughs> so, Maka, we'll be safe. We've got the parachute plan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, it's, it's one of those situations that we've had all the best advice, we've, we've run the trial, we've done the whole stock and barrel. I mean, who knows what happens, but we've done everything we can. We know we're up on the limits, you know, we are on the limits, there's no doubt about that. Don't try this at home. <laughs> no, and if you are going to try it, make sure you've got a Unimog nearby. Absolutely, we have the correct recovery gear, we've run it, we've run it out for safety, so let's go and do it, I reckon. Here we go. And really the key here is to, uh, you know, get across to the other side. Yeah. thankful that we had the recovery guys I mean we had that first attempt the trial attempt at crossing the river and we took the totally wrong line you know we thought we had the uh, place wide but what we didn't realize was there were some big rocks in the middle of that river in fact could have been a couple of old bridge pylons so it was difficult came back had a good look at it the boys from the recovery were just terrific and, uh, and they picked the line for us that just made all the difference. So, uh, yeah, yeah, what a lot of fun. What a lot of fun. I must say, I've had a bit to do with JB caravans in the past. I've uh, taken them around some four-wheel drive courses, all sorts of mogul sand drifts, water crossings, uh, and some really high-speed uh, sand drifts and all that sort of stuff as well. And you know what? I'm actually really impressed, particularly uh, with these off-road models obviously built for purpose and tracking beautifully. Their level of comfort is just terrific. And you know what? If we were gonna shake out some gremlins, we certainly would have done it on these roads. So JB Garavans, well done, well done. Beautifully put together, Australian made. You've got it all, haven't you? step inside and you immediately go from a rugged off-road warrior to just sublime visual RV eye candy. Isn't it beautiful? And I must say the colour palette is just superb, really attractive and really practical. Look at this lounge for instance. You're just invited to come down and get comfortable. It's leather, got the headrests, it's even got 
the fold-out footrests for ultimate comfort as well. The table folds out a little bit more for when you're sitting down and having a meal, a few drinks, a few people around. It's just great. And look at this, the vision out to a beautiful river with awnings all round really just sets the scene for total comfort and a great holiday. JV have really put this one together. I think it's just a terrific size, but a terrific layout as well. Like there's plenty of room to move around in, but plenty of facilities and plenty of storage. And look at the cabinetry. It's just wonderful. You can tell quality manufacturing. CNC cut, edge banded uh, joins all the way through it. And even all of the, uh, the handles, all of the fittings and all the finishes are just top notch. We've got overhead cabinets, we've got switch gear, we've got microwaves, we've got a four burner Swift cooktop. And when you're not using the cooktop, it's all disclosed as well. And looky here, griller, oven. I love that Sunday night roast. Plenty of bench space and I've got to have plenty of bench space. I am a flat space person, simple as that. I love this unit here. I think it just the black fittings and livery just gives it that real touch of class. No doubt about it. When it gets nice and warm, turn on the Ibis 4. You'll stay nice and cool inside. And don't forget, it's a fully insulated shell as well. So you're gonna stay cool no matter what the outside temperature gets. How about this for a practical layout? Doesn't matter whether you're catering just for yourself or for the whole tribe, you've got it all, including all your PowerPoints. And look, if you're the cook, you can even choose the music from the Fusion Bluetooth headset. <laughs> As we move back further, you've got to have somewhere to put all your jams and sauces, all those bits and pieces. So we've got a tandem pantry in there, another little cupboard underneath, locks everything away neatly and securely. So you haven't got sauce all over your cupboard when you pull up. And have a look at this. When you're traveling, you've just got to have a big fridge. Keep all your drinks, refreshments and food, especially when you're out there for a long term. We've got the big 274 litre fridge freezer and it's an absolute beauty. I can feel the cool coming through there already. Just great. Turn around when it's time to clean up. Have a look at this ensuite. We've got it all and what's more, it's large enough for a big bloke, which is something I'm a bit critical of, obviously. I need a bit of elbow room when I'm sitting on the toilet, believe it or not. You got it all though, towel racks, towel racks. A lot of caravans don't even put towel racks in. It's vitally important. We've got the washing machine. Again, tons of storage. A Little bit of linen space as well. Always comes in handy, particularly for the ladies, but it could be for anyone. The dressing mirror. It's a shaving mirror as well, don't forget. Good little uh, vanity bowl here. A full length mirror instead of just the opaque uh, door screen to the shower. It is actually a full length dressing mirror as well and a beautiful big full height shower that you can really get in and have a good scrub. Overhead, again, fully insulated and beautifully lined, I must say, as well. You've got plenty of hatches, skylights, and plenty of options with your awnings and fly screens with it as well. As I said, air conditioning, reverse cycle air conditioning, and the choice of lighting will absolutely suit your mood with beautiful LED drop lighting, plus step lighting all the way through it. The lighting choices are phenomenal. The comfort levels just hit a peak. How relaxing does that look? I just feel like jumping into bed now. Turn on the Sirocco fans because it's a bit sticky or maybe even the air conditioner, but it's got the works. Have a look at that padded bed head, queen size pillow top mattress. You've got a ton of storage and wardrobe space as well, even in the side pockets here. Pull down awnings, lots of windows, which is just great. A couple of little nooks in the side with the charging points and somewhere for your books and telephone to go as well all in a beautiful presentation and it's easy to access the whole lot when it's time to make that bed as well. And if you want to watch telly in bed, you can do. There's a plug-in 24 inch screen, goes into a mount here as well and a wind up wine guard antenna up on the roof. The good times just keep on rolling with your Scorpion Sting. Have a look at what's under the bed. Not only is there plenty of storage and a great place safe place to keep your television when you're in transit. But have a look at this power system. This is an Enerdrive power system and it's going to keep you on the road powered up indefinitely. It's an absolute ripper. We've actually got three 200 watt solar panels on the roof. 
charging down through your AC and your DC, battery chargers and regulators, down driving a 2000 watt inverter as well. So you can even bring your coffee machine along and your hairdryer, the whole lock, stock and barrel, and you're gonna keep going for ages. Look at the wiring, look at the switch gear. This is a quality product. So when it comes time to get out there and really enjoy your life in your caravan, go and see the good crew from JB Caravans and set yourself up with a Scorpion Sting or one of the other of their great range of products. There's one to suit you. Now there's only one thing that's missing from this caravan and that's a couple of big Tiger stickers on the back of it. Go Tigers!